some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have American Press Corps who turns into a giant snowflake after his camera is touched and he whines and cries about his finger hurting. Oh, poor little Baby, do you want to go home to your mama and get some warm milk and cookies? So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back for another video with American Press Corps. Today we are at the Corpus Christi Courthouse, and this audit is going to be about government accountability and how they treat me while exercising my constitutional right to video record. Hopefully they respect my rights and treat me with respect. So let's go check it out. Oh, by the way, before we continue, this video is 40 minutes long. So I'm going to have to cut out a significant portion of content for the interest of time because I like to keep my videos short. Additionally, there's a lot of irrelevant content in this video anyway. So let's carry on with the video, shall we? Sorry, what? I said take off the camera, dude. T take off that camera, dude. Don't touch me. Ah, uh, well, can touch you, dude. Take off that camera or something. I'm telling you, Mr. Reyes, please don't touch me. <clears throat> take off that camera, dude. What are you recording? Say, so take off that camera. Ow! 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 This man just assaulted me. Help! This man just assaulted me. I want to file criminal charges. Ow! What are you reading? Ow! He smashed my finger. I See my finger right here? Officer, do you see my finger right here? When he pushed on my camera, he smashed my finger. Bullshit! Bullshit! And the 2022 award for worst overacting ever goes to American Press Corps. And what do you get for the awards? A pillow to cry in and a phone to call somebody who cares. Did he? He smashed hey, my don't finger. Put it out to me. Sir, this hey. man assaulted me. I need help. No, don't start I'm helping you. Okay. Sir, what is your name and badge number? Hey, and it's David Mahalka. You take your camera out of here, dude. I'm telling you, you now, be, man. Mr. Reyes, you're very take unprofessional. Over, I'm going to take you out myself. Let's go outside. Mr. Reyes, you're Let's being very outside. unprofessional and he's causing a scene, sir. Okay. He's creating a disturbance. Let's go outside. Excuse me, sir. I would like to file a, um, a personal complaint. I would like to file. You're not gonna file nothing, dude. Just go. We will. Let's go outside. I would like to file a complaint, please. Well, to make this short, because this is a long video, they want his name in order to file a complaint, and of course, he refuses to give his name. So let's carry on to the next encounter, because it's just a 15-minute tirade of him whining, complaining. So let's move on with the video. Fifteen minutes later. Hey, how's it going? Uh, yeah, I was just um, letting the lady know that I have the right to film, and I was asking for her name, and uh, she was kind of... Who are you filming for? Uh, well, public interest. Public interest for what, though? Uh, well... for court costs and fines. Do you have a court case? No. Well, actually, um, a lot of times people want to see what the building looks like inside, what goes on here. Um, what are the different things that you guys offer? What type of business you guys do here? Okay, well, we accept payments for court case and fines. Court costs and fines. Were you okay. charged with any court costs? No, no, it was just basically, I, I just asked for the lady's name uh, because it's polite to tell the public, you know, your name, you usually have a name tag and stuff like that. And she wasn't wanting to give it to me, so I was just like, well, you know, it is polite to do that, you know. Are well, you her boss? You have any business? With a court case, a court cost and fine. Um, please go ahead and film somewhere else. But you can, you can film, but please film away from the desk. Well, why it's, can't I? Am I not allowed to film right here? Is there something wrong well, with this area? Well, you have business to deal with this, this department. You can film right there while we're transacting. Yeah. But if you have no business yeah, being but, at this desk, mm -hmm. you can film from afar. Yes, sir. But my business today, today, my business is to see who the public employees are, to see if they're respectful and polite, 
and to let them know that I have the right to film in a public place. Yeah, today, what, that what? today that is my business. Okay, but what for? What what priority is? This? Well, it's for the public. It's so for the public. Time? Well, for anybody watching. Watching what? My video. Your video on what? On the courthouse. No, but where are you? Where are you? Where are you going to display this video? Well, I can't really divulge that right now at Why this can't time. Why you divulge that if it's public interest? Well, it's for my audience. It's for your audience, but yes. not for public. Well, they're, they are the public. Well, I don't understand. If it's for public audience, mm -hmm. and you're not <laughs> allowed to disclose where you're going to be... I public. am allowed to disclose, and they know it, but I'm not mm -hmm. disclosing it to you. Why? That's just you specifically. Why? Because it could compromise my story. But it's for public interest. Okay, sir. Well, you know, that's your opinion, and I have mine, you have yours, so... Well, my opinion is you film from over there, for one thing. But, sir, you don't control me. I, you don't control me either. <laughs> I, I never gave you any commands. Uh, I, I, I simply asked you for the lady, or for your name. What is your name, by the way? What is your name, sir? My name is Lorenzo Hernandez. Lorenzo Hernandez. Okay, are, are you, you the man? This, sir? Are you the manager here? Where are you filming this, sir? I'm, I'm filming from the courthouse. I understand that. But where are you going to upload this for? I have the right to know where you're going to upload it. You have the right to know? <laughs> yeah, it's public interest, right? Is that in the Bill of Rights that I have the right to well, know? is it public interest? Have you read the Bill of Rights? I really doubt that he's even opened a book to read the Bill of Rights. Just like every other frauder out there, he only cares about certain parts of the... Uh, constitution. Sir, it is public interest. Okay, but what public entity are you going to upload this to? Name it. What? You just, you name it. Okay. Yes. So... Yes, is the answer. Oh, sorry. So, do you have any business with your court costs or part? No. Do you have a case? No. So, what is the purpose? I just told you. No, you didn't. I told you it was to come see the dealings and how the public, uh, how the public officials act, how they treat I'm the not public. A public official. Oh, you don't work for the public. I'm a clerk. But do you work for the public? No, I mean everybody does. It's a rhetorical question, sir. Of course you work for the public. That's well, what I'm trying to tell. Rhetorical? Then why are you asking? Because that's what a rhetorical question is. To ask a rhetorical it, question. It's to make a point. It's to make a point. What point is that? The point is that, of course, I have the right to film in a public okay. place. Well, all I'm going to tell you, you can film, but don't ask questions. If you don't have anything to deal with, with court costs or fines. You can film, but don't ask questions? That sounds silly, sir. That's rhetorical. Oh, it's a rhetorical. Okay. That was a, a statement, but whatever. Anyway, that guy's an idiot. You're filming customers. You're not filming the office employee. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Because they're not part of this. Are they not? I'll let you give you time to think. Don't <laughs> touch me. Ow! Ow! You just smashed my finger again. That That's twice. If you keep leaving your finger out in the open like that, it's gonna get smashed. I mean, accidents do happen. I mean, I don't know how you keep smashing your finger. But please, keep getting it smashed. It's hilarious. Especially with that insane overacting. Let's rate his acting on a scale of 1 to 10. 1 being the worst overacting you have ever seen out of a frauder. 10 being best overacting you've ever seen out of a frauder. So leave that in the comment section below. Me, personally, I think it's a 1 on a scale of 1 to 10. I've already given him his award of a cell phone and a uh, pillow, the pillow to cry in, and the cell phone to call somebody who really cares. Don't touch me! <laughs> yeah, I think it's real funny, right? I don't even know what you're doing, dude. <laughs>
This guy just ass assaulted me. Uh, guys, this guy just smashed my camera on the back of my, my other finger. Do you see this part right here? You see my... Sorry. This man right here just assaulted me. He did the exact same thing. He smashed my finger on the back of my on my, the back of my apparatus. When he smashed it, he pushed back on it. Sir, oh, I want to I want to file charges on this man. No, uh, the exact same thing that just happened downstairs. This man did to me, sir. I'm allowed to stand right here and film, sir. You're an ignorant man, and you don't know what's going on. You assaulted me. I want, sir. This man said, assaulted me, and he did the exact I'll, I'll same thing. I have a right to report, but I need your information. I need your information to write a report. I know that. Okay. Now, do you want to give me that? In due time. In due time. Okay. But I want to make a verbal report that this man assaulted me. He smashed my finger on the back of my apparatus on what I'm holding my camera with. He smashed on the back of it. I'm holding it like this. And when he, he pushed on the camera, just like the other big overgrown security guard did, okay. and he smashed my finger. What is it with this place and people just come assaulting well, people? Oh. Sir, I, I can't talk to you because you're biased and you, you, you no, don't follow the law. You've got to understand, sir, some people don't like being filmed. Sir, they have no expectation of privacy in a public place. You're right, but some people get upset. Everybody's different, okay? Do they have the right to assault you? No. Sir, and let me but, tell you what happens. I go and I film, right, in a okay. public place. Okay. People get upset and then they start acting crazy or they assault me or something like that happens. And then you know what? I get blamed for creating the disturbance. And I never did anything but stand quietly. And then when these gentlemen come and attack me, they create the disturbance. Those are feeling threatened by him. Threatened? Because you, they're, they're, they're trying okay. to get on their license. And they can't you're the one who assaulted someone. You're the one who assaulted me. They should be threatened from you. All I'm doing is video recording in a, in a public place. Over here. Well, I am just going to have to end it right here because he never gives his name to the security officers. Therefore, he can't get any satisfaction. But you know one thing? He's a really clumsy frauditor. He got his fingers smashed at least twice in that video because he left them out in the open somewhere where they could get smashed. I mean, accidents do happen. And, well, there's really no point in fixing clumsy moronic frauditors anyway. They always get into accidents somehow.